Welcome back to another Sweet Home 3D tutorial. In this video, we'll learn how to add a basement or to add a uh, second level. So adding different levels to your plans. I'm sure that's something you've been thinking about. So I'm just gonna resize this so we get a nice good view of our grid first of all. And so the first thing we need to do is actually draw, uh, right now we're just in default doing our regular floor. So we're going to just click and I'll just create a nice square 24 by 24 ish or not even yeah roughly that's what I'll do and I'll just double click to close that off so now I have a nice floor we can look at in 3d here uh, and um, let's draw some walls on here you actually don't even have to have walls or a floor you can add a second level without having anything but we'll just draw this so now we have one single floor okay we just have a single story it has, since we drew a floor, it, has a, it actually has a floor and a ceiling, but um, there's no like roof on it or anything. There's no basement. So let's see, what, let's see what we can do here. So to add another floor, we just go to plan and then go to add level. Um, so we'll just do this top one, add level. And what it does, it creates, everything sort of like whited out. Our, our view still looks the same down here. But now if you notice at the top, we have a level zero. And then we also have a level one. And so while we're on level one, we can now click our floor tool and add another floor exactly over top of this one. And we see we get a floor and hit the escape key. So now we have a floor on top of this and we can do the same thing with walls. So just as if we were drawing before, we're just drawing up here now and we can draw some walls. And it gets kind of crazy because if we want to, we could actually draw out here and it, uh, what it's actually doing is drawing a, a floating little walls up there because we're drawing the walls on level two. So just be aware that that can happen. Let's go to my selection tool. I'll hold down left click and select all that. Hit the delete key. But yeah, now I have this. I have two different levels here. So if I go to level zero, it shows just level zero. If I go to level one, it shows uh, both of them kind of. Um, let's see here. And we can, add, we can add another one, hit this plus sign here, and we can actually add another level. So we've got level two. And so really what I would, what I would say, um, where's it at? Um, so we can click on this one here. If we want to do a basement, kind of the way we accomplish it is by clicking on our level zero and we double click, and then it has this elevation on it. So the elevation of level zero is at zero feet right now. But if we want a basement that's like eight feet deep, we would just go negative, eight for our elevation and then the height is eight so it should bring it back up to zero so let's see if we do this and we go okay so now we have a basement here so we look in and look we've got it we've got just a basement because we're just looking at level zero so that's how we would see this basement here uh, and then we can actually come in and draw we can draw walls in we can let's grab a staircase we've got like curved stairs we can just put in here so here's some stairs to get out of our basement up to our main floor so here's the stairs there. Uh, I guess we'll put them here so it makes more sense. And then um, we go to our level one, but now our level one is still like super high up there. We're like, oh, okay. So now we change our level one. At least this is how I like to do it. It makes sense to me. So I double click up here on level one, and then we change level one to zero in, for the elevation. And then we say, okay. And now we've got level one here, and we've got our level zero right down here. So if we go to level zero, we see our basement. Level one is kind of our main floor level. But now the thing is, if we go to level two, it's gonna be it's gonna be higher up there. We didn't really draw on level two, but I'm just gonna right click, let's get rid of this level two. Can we do that? Plan and go to delete level. And now we just have level zero, our basement, and level one. And now I believe if we add a level here, level two, let's see where it's gonna, by default, where it's gonna put it. So let's just draw the floor and see. Cool. So now our level two is where it's supposed to be. And so now we have, we can just keep going that way. So just be aware that that's, I hope you kind of understood how I was doing that. There's a couple different ways to go about creating a basement. Um, but th this is kind of, that's kind of the way I did it. And then the levels, we can just keep adding. I think we can just keep going and going. I, I think, I don't know. I've never, never tried to get too crazy with this. Can we just, yeah, we can, we can get really crazy here, guys. So we can do it. We can do a skyscraper. Let's design a skyscraper in, in Sweet Home 3D. Uh, yeah, so that's doing levels. Um, I think that's about all. Just again, like anything we want to get properties for, we just double click on and we can change 
um, the, the floor thickness, the height, uh, and then if it's viewable or not is an option we can we can put. Uh, but yeah, and that is how we create different levels in Sweet Home 3D. Hope this video helped. Catch you on the next video. Until then.